Electric scooter is one of the best technology for transporting now. Fun, accessible, and cheap to buy electric scooters are one of the best technologies now. In this video, we will show you the top 5 electric scooters that you can buy. If you are a gadget lover and like to watch videos like this, then subscribe to this channel. Activo Scoot A marvel of engineering and design, the Activo Scoot is the perfect balance between elegance and performance. Built from a single-piece magnesium frame and propelled by an astonishing empty-wheel electric motor, this is a scooter for daily use. This scooter has been designed with specifications for daily use in mind. Cruise at 20 km per hour and get to your destination up to 25 km in a single charge. Activo Scoot's 500-watt hubless electric motor is by far the most powerful motor in an electric scooter of this category to date. This innovative brushless motor uses a set of 60 magnets to deliver an unprecedented torque output and speed control. Tackle your commute with ease when you ride the Activo Scoot hubless electric scooter. Sleek and slim, this compact scooter offers impressive power to get you from A to B. The Activo Scoot uses a 1,000-watt brushless motor to propel you an impressive 15.5 miles on a single charge. In addition, it tops out at 18.6 miles per hour, which makes it perfect for your everyday commute or popping out to the shop. Taking just two hours to fully charge, the Activo Scoot weighs only 28 pounds, so it's easy to carry. Likewise, it folds down in just three seconds to an even more compact shape for effortless storage. This scooter is made from a single piece of magnesium for its frame, so its aesthetic matches its power. The control can be done from the handlebars or from the mobile device. On the handlebar, you can find different buttons, ignition, accelerator, lights, brake, and a system for displaying the parameters to see the speed at which we are going, the available battery, etc. It is important to be aware of these parameters to know what is the status of this Activo at all times for safety. The app is also fundamental because it allows to obtain interesting data on the electric skid. For example, the percentage of battery to know the realized routes, statistics, information on the hardware, and the software. Splatch With seriously plush suspension, the Splatch Turbo offers a first-class, comfortable ride and has the familiar appeal of the fluid Free Ride Horizon and other Unicool Titan offshoot scooters, but with a slightly Franken-scooter feel. It's as though the turbo was assembled from a bin of our favorite electric scooter parts. The Splatch is making waves in the mid-range commuter class, with best-in-class suspension and dual drum brakes. These are big pluses, when models at this price point typically only have a single brake. However, rattling from the fender, stem wobble, loose handlebars, and other minor annoyances may deter you from making this your everyday commuter scooter. If you're looking for an affordable mid-range commuter, the Splatch Turbo is appealing. It is very competitive with models like the Horizon and City but offering a better suspension and innovative features like a card reader. With a tested range of 29.6 kilometers, you won't go as far as the horizon, nor will you go as fast as the city. However, its benefits and price point will still make the Splatch a winner for many buyers. The Splatch Turbo has power out of the gate, going from 0 to 24 kilometers per hour in just 4.3 seconds. Accelerating to 32 kilometers per hour, the turbo reached speed in 7.7 .7 seconds. The ride on the Splash Turbo is top-notch, as the dual suspension smooths out most everything, absorbing bad roads and only giving you a brain massage over truly terrible terrain. The suspension on the Splash is even better than the E-Move Touring, a scooter known for its excellent ride quality. With a 0 10 x ask arm for stability and a wide turning radius, it's pretty easy to maintain a straight line while riding, but not without a cost. Noise with folded dimensions of 109cm long by 20cm wide and 41cm tall. It's a little cumbersome to carry upstairs, especially because the stem rotates as you're holding it, a lot like the Apollo Light. With a telescoping stem and screw-in handlebars, the turbo can be made more compact. Overall, the turbo has strong acceleration with a responsive trigger throttle and some whining from the motor off the starting line. Mini Falcon Most forms of personal transport are lean and green, but trying to find somewhere to park your bike or scooter can be a problem. The Mini Falcon solves this with a folding design. It's lightweight and surprisingly fast. If you were to travel back in time a couple of decades, you would notice that many things look different. One of the minor details you might encounter would be every kid riding a mini scooter. These tiny speed machines were cheap, nimble, and easy to fold up and carry over a shoulder. You can think of Mini Falcon as the modern-day, grown-up reincarnation. This powerful electric scooter is made for adults, but it folds up small enough to carry in your backpack. If you currently drive to work every morning, you will be familiar with the traffic jams and packed parking lots. It's quicker than walking, but the price is significant, both financially and for the planet. With the Mini Falcon, traffic doesn't matter. You don't need a parking spot, and you won't have to buy more gas at the end of every week. The Zippy e-scooter was made for flying through the city streets and squeezing into the office. 
On the road, the Mini Falcon can hit 16 miles per hour, thanks to an almost silent 250 watt motor. The scooter has three gears and a digital display providing vital info. You have a range of around 9 miles on a full battery, with a kinetic recovery system harvesting energy while you glide or brake. Speaking of slowing down, the Mini Falcon has an easy-to-use anti-locking foot brake. If you encounter any bumps in the road, the puncture-proof tires and built-in shock absorber should take the hit. In Motion L9 The L9 is a giant scooter. It is both longer and taller than the beastly 77-pound 010X when unfolded. Despite weighing significantly less, it has a very solid 30 plus miles of tested range and a powerful, torquey motor that allows it to get up to its 19 miles per hour tested top speed quicker than many other scooters. It has great hill climbing ability and a dual spring suspension and air-filled tires for decent ride quality. The L9 has some interesting innovations, including built-in turn signals that activate when you lean and a safety system that prevents the accelerator from activating when you are folding it. The InMotion L9 electric scooter has surprisingly punchy acceleration, thanks to its single 1,000-watt electric motor. The scooter will peel out if you floor the accelerator from a standstill. We tested the 0 to 15 mile per hour acceleration during our standard battery of performance tests, and it was 4.2 seconds, quite quick for such a large, tame-looking scooter. For comparison, the Segway 9Bot Max reached 15 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, and the Xiaomi M365 took 6.3 seconds. The M365 represents the older typical shared scooter, and the 9Bot Max is representative of newer ones. The L9 is also a surprisingly apt mountaineer. It completed our 200-foot, 10% Great Hill climb test with a 165-pound rider in just 12.4 seconds at an average speed of 11 miles per hour. Glion Electric Scooter The Glion Dolly is a sturdy, no-frills, compact commuting machine. It is one of the most portable electric scooters available on the market today. Portability is facilitated by dolly wheels and an airport luggage-style telescoping carrying handle. The whole scooter folds into a package with an ultra-small footprint, is easy to tow around, and will freestand on its own. However, its ultra-portability comes at a cost. The scooter will be a rough ride on poor quality roads and has lackluster controls and performance. It is also not the most attractive scooter. The Glion Dolly is an ideal scooter for those who will bring it into crowded public transportation frequently. The scooter is designed around this concept. If this fits your needs, then the purchasing decision is truly a no-brainer. If you don't need this capability, then consider some of the other options. The Dolly has decent hill climbing capabilities and reached the top in 17.9 seconds with an average speed of 12.2 km per hour. This actually performed better than the M365, which took 20.8 seconds to reach the top with an average speed of 10.6 km per hour. The Dolly will take you up small hills, but is by no means a hill climbing machine. Expect to slow down quite a bit on even modest hills. On steep slopes, you'll have to dismount and walk the scooter. Overall, the Glion Dolly has pretty mediocre brakes. They are initially reasonably strong, which causes abrupt deceleration, 